February was a less active month for esports, but still a good month with the quality of the games we've had. This is the esports recap for February of 2014. The Intel Extreme Masters had two stops in February, one in Sao Paulo for StarCraft 2 and League of Legends, and the other in the ESL Arena in Cologne for just StarCraft 2. Port is down 50 supply, a valiant effort from him, but it is Liquid's hero who stands strong with final storms as he marches through. GG is called, and Hero takes the Intel Extreme Masters Championship here in Cologne. Assembly hosted their Winterland once again in Helsinki, with tournaments for StarCraft 2, Dota 2, CSGO, and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. One thing to note is that the Asus ROG tournament for StarCraft 2 awarded the prize money in US dollars. And it just doesn't look like the most bots play is able to recover from this. There are way too many stalkers now for Sun. 12 to 8, and of course the two base economy behind all of this. It looks really good for Sun here. Taking right that down from behind Over in the UK the was Epic 12, the epic LAN party for the Brits. StarCraft 2, Dota 2, League of Legends, and CSGO. Not a pro gaming event. Not too much prize money, but the local community came out to play, and so did some of the more known players. Oh! Fantastic well, shot by Sliggy right there. Sliggy had him in his back pocket, and I think I felt that shot from here, to be fully honest with you. TLM will get the defuse, and hopefully they can build on this round and uh, get more momentum in the bag. The Esports Global Network organizes a series of matches called Fight Night. This month, there were two seasons for Hearthstone, both between the teams Liquid Value and Doghouse. And, oh, spell, spell Power Totem. Spell Power Totem uh, would have actually been pretty good because he could just kill it with air shock. Yeah. BLAN 2014 Winter. I won't even try to pronounce the full name, but it's a smaller, more traditional LAN in Norway. StarCraft 2 had a decent prize pool. League of Legends and CSGO had smaller prize pools, but no results are available at this time. Yeah, those are really nice callbacks. Nameen LAN 2014. Nemien, Nemien, I don't know. It's another Norwegian land, but much bigger. Decent prize pools for StarCraft 2, League of Legends, CSGO, and even FIFA. But there's no results for them, except for StarCraft 2. Whoever's filling out the pages on Liquipedia, good job. In other StarCraft 2 events, Lionsgate steps into the world of esports by sponsoring a couple of StarCraft 2 tournaments. The intent was to promote the release of Ender's Game on Blu-ray and DVD. One was organized by Twitch and the other by MLG. A showmatch was then organized featuring the winners of the two tournaments. We also had the Wearer.com Invitational, organized by pro player and caster Todd. Yep. Yeah, we were just waiting at this point, I think. There's no way Jose can hold this. StarCraft Brood War remains alive with the first Zeus Star League, named after the retired Protoss player from Height Sparkies. The entire tournament was casted by him. League of Legends had a lot of stuff going on, most of which were online tournaments. Aside from the ones already mentioned, the one big offline event that happened in February was the CGA Major League in Hong Kong. Dota 2 was less active this month, but had a couple major events. The ESP Shock Therapy Cup happened online, but the big offline event was Season 3 of the Nexon Sponsorship League in Seoul, Korea. CSGO had a few smaller events in Europe, aside from the ones mentioned before. DreamHack Stockholm was exclusively for Counter-Strike. 
There was also a show match between Fnatic and LDLC that ran into some problems. It was intended to last a single day, but had to be postponed due to a DDoS. The show match was rescheduled a week later, resuming from map number 2 with Fnatic leading 10 to 4. Warcraft 3 is very small these days, but very much alive. AWT Season 2 was all that came close to a major event, with Moon taking the 2 million won grand prize, approximately $1900. Moon also played one final show match against the Chinese player TH000 before going off to do his mandatory military service. That's it for the February edition of the eSports Recap. We'll see you next month.